Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to World of Horror. Uh, I made the stunning realization that when I'm recording a backlog, I can also record during the day. Uh, which is not something that normally happens, and this is another alt-tab situation to make sure we're actually recording, which we are. How's the, uh, the focus rights at 67? That should be correct. But anyways, listen. Hey, you know, the thing. Um... I stayed up really late last night doing something quite silly, playing the hit video game Among Us. And uh, we haven't done Moriko in a hot minute, so let, let, let me do, let me use that as an excuse to pick Moriko so we can just breeze through the game real quick. Uh, we'll go with Thutu to even speed things up further. But uh, no, it was a lot of uh, it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad I actually ended up making it because uh, every. Uh, Almost every time we play Among Us, uh, Among Us, uh, Joey Hazard, uh, you know, Twitch.tv Joey Hazard, he streams it, and so I was just expecting it to be another stream, but actually, this was not another stream, this was a charity stream, so that's really nice. Uh, I'll link the, I'll link the VOD. Uh, down in the description below if I remember, but this is a pre-recorded thing, so I might not. Sorry, Joey. Uh, but if I do remember, I will put it there for sure. Um, I saw myself on TV. I, I made it in time for my televised appearance. Oh no! But you know, I'm also I'm, I'm also pretty tired because I only got like four hours of sleep. Which listen, you know, sometimes sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do uh, to be there for the for the lads in the um, in the in the literal charity stream. Uh, and here's the thing, if you go and watch that VOD, you might be like, where the heck is Web? Because I barely talk. And that's because our chats are usually chaotic, uh, but this time they were even, they, they were even more chaotic. And listen, that's completely fine by me, right? Because here's the thing, you know, I get to talk uninterrupted so often that it'll last me a freaking lifetime, right? So going on a live stream, and then just just muting, and just kicking back and enjoying the uh, the li the live entertainment that you can somewhat influence. Good enough for me. Good enough for me, brother. But uh, yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Although uh, one of the somebody kept asking me about Emmerdale, and I never really got to answer. But that's okay. So, some things are left better unexplored. Like my man taking people hostage with a single barrel shotgun and then criticizing one of his hostages for getting drunk at a party like a year ago with his son. It was incredible. Like this girl, she's just vibing. And by vibing, I mean you have a gun to her head and she's just like, please don't kill me. And you're like, I can't believe you got drunk at a party with my son. Like, you should be a sh- <laughs> Oh god, Emmerdale's crazy. And then of course it's like the- the other part of the episode. And I don't know why we're doing this, to be honest with you. This is really stupid. We shouldn't be doing this. But here we are. This is- this is a weird situation where... I mean, this is gonna do nine damage, so we just need to hit this twice. So, uh, 8080, that's the game right there. If we miss one, we're a little bit bummed out there. But we, we can start again, no problem. Like, you gotta take risks, man. It's a shame we didn't get him down to 15. We, we could've, uh, we could've shot him. Because remember, the bonus damage from a Thutu doesn't carry over into firearm weapons, so that would still do 15 flat. Um, which is a little bit awkward. Like, we got baited by a Thutu, kinda. I should've ran. But when I realized I should have ran, I had already committed two reason to the fight, so I'm like, ah, who dares wins, right? But, uh, no, nah, it, it is what it is. Well, we'll, we'll go a Thutu again, because, you know, I'm not a coward. But, I mean, I'm absolutely a coward, but, you know, I, I don't mind a Thutu. We, we just have to remember that fighting is bad for, like, the first two levels. But second mystery and second enemy, and I don't really care about the lighthouse. Like, the, the lighthouse will kind of take care of itself. The lighthouse kind of does. You just have to make sure you're not getting plus 10% doom. Which I, I think is a completely fair thing to say. 
Now, if we could see ourselves on the TV here, that would be really nice. I'd really appreciate that. If we didn't have to flip through the channels eight million times. There we go, okay. But yeah, I'm looking forward to... Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy. Okay, this is just cheating. Like, we have de we this is cheating. Okay, we have default Harbinger of Doom damage values, but we're doing plus one damage. I in this scenario, Kana is plus one damage, which is, like, disgustingly broken. So, you know, that is, that is really nice. And we got the compass first try again. You love to see it. But, uh, yeah, no, that, that is disgustingly broken. Kana uh, literally is completely bypassing the effect of an old god. Uh, which is kind of funny, but also, like, kind of great. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll take it. This is reason if you fail it, so just give me the doom. It's not something that I'm very happy with, but we need to kind of preserve our health for the most part, because we're about to just eat it a bunch. Like, here's the thing. Every time you take doom from an event that's health damage that you're not gonna have to worry about later and here's the thing how do you heal you spend doom so i think generally speaking at least in the early game when you're a lot weaker this is the first enemy oh in, in the early game when you're a lot weaker it's probably a good idea to essentially kind of take doom over damage because you're gonna have to spend doom later to heal that damage so whoever's after the twisted corpse, we need to we need to deal with. Now that's uh, that's a bummer. We got the we got the Ithutu, uh stamina effect. Now here's the thing: Moriko's charisma is awful. So Tome of Rot deals eight damage to human enemy. Oh boy, I can't wait to fight human enemy, where that'll actually be useful. Uh, we need to be a little bit careful with our reason values here. Just do a little light reading. Just do a little, <laughs> just do a little uh, light reading while we wait in the hospital for our friend Kana. Contaminated water is an immediate bummer. Like, let me be real with you. I I can't think of something that would be more of a bummer necessarily, because we would really like to be at six reason right now, but we're not, and we don't have. Uh, a fear festival to help us out but listen I, I I've kind of realized that over like don't get me wrong I'm, I'm happy being on my trip I am and it's been a lot of fun but I'm realizing that there are a lot of games that I want to play with the pals that I can't right now and that's a bummer and so two things can be true at once right like one I'm happy on my trip and then the other thing is that I'm sad that I can't uh, play as many games as I'd like with the pals. So, but the kind of counterbalancing act of it, right, is that I am not always on a trip. This is dangerous, by the way. This is really dangerous. We, we were going into uh, minus uh, three reason territory because the area is doomed. But anyway, so... Our boy, Cultist Hunter B, and freaky feature of footage that we found lying around is the second mystery, so please write that down. That'll be on the test later. Uh, now, what are we going to do here? I, I mean, I think that we need to pull... Okay, shut up. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay, listen, listen, listen other sort for to my credit other sources of bonus damage don't do that so anyways i started blasting and then i started um i started blasting we'll, we'll just take minus two stamina i mean it's better than we took minus one stamina but uh <clears throat> uh let's just pretend let's just pretend that if Thutu do the way that i thought he did and uh, that I definitely haven't put over 350 hours into this game um, and not know that. Like, for real, for, for real, for real, for real. Let, let's just pretend <laughs> that the airplanes <laughs> in the night sky are shooting stars. What even is that, man? I don't get that. Like, at one point on Twitter, 
you would just see a bunch of like Mordecai from regular show and the the purple pony from My Little Pony and they would be together and it was like a I don't know people call it a ship like they they ship the characters romantically and I didn't understand and I still don't reception check failure uh, both in real life and in the game which is a, a damn shame uh, at least in the game in real life I think I'm happy being ignorant but there was like a bunch of that on Twitter at one point people were really into it and then there was like I think some people tried to spin off something with Rigby but that never really went anywhere and anyways it, it doesn't really matter right like that's the point is that it was just a weird thing to see on Twitter, and I don't understand modern trends. <laughs> so that's where I left my sweater. Oh no. This is gonna... Do you, do, you, do you know how hard these freaking stains are gonna be to get out of the sweater? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to be working on this for weeks. And by that, I mean, uh, we're just gonna... Moriko was shortly uh, put into a institution because she kept ranting and raving about I mean sure give me a flashlight dude that's that's fine stable condition and hasty aid two contradictory statements can we please like just not like like would would you mind so we can do 13 oh, actually hold on yes this is 13 damage I mean you want to take a risk dude and then have to start over again no no I, I don't want to take a risk and then start over again so let me just prep a strong attack throw the pain throw the painkillers definitely do that don't throw anything else that would be maybe more effective we almost got through it but it's a, like a 50 50 chance at this point um so here's the thing this kills us, right? Oh no, we have painkillers, so it's fine. And no, it didn't. Uh, we're not in dangerous territory yet, and even then, that would only do two. So, no, we're actually fine. No, I don't want to tap into the ancient power. Oh, tapping into the ancient power is fine, actually. I definitely don't feel like uh, summoning an eldritch entity. Deft handling and reason. That's just a certified level up moment. The easiest level up of my life. So Cultist Hunter B and Freaky Feature of Found Footage, which is, again, not something that you hear every day. I've been saying that a lot recently, actually, though. So that's kind of cool. I think we need to kind of take some personal time. Uh, gonna rest a couple of times just to get our health back up. And honestly, maybe you should do that at the end of the mystery to kind of see how you're at. But I think that with our current logic, we could just kind of rest again. I think that's fine. Now, who do you not want to see when you are... Well, I mean, we can literally do 20 damage... But I think what I would rather do is we attack, and then let's sacrifice, regain one reason. And by that I mean two. So we're going to take four stamina damage. And by that I mean five, because we have, um... Again, I I've said that one too many times. We were, we were actually theory uh, crafting it on why I get emails from YouTube and why Joey doesn't. And Joey said something very sad that not even the YouTube bots care about him, which is like, the you know, that's... I mean, I'm not even gonna touch that one with like a 10-foot pole, to be honest with you. But uh, the most likely scenario is that since I've done over 400 episodes of this game and we get that status effect, quite frequently in the beginning I would say you know the name of the status effect right here and I would say the name and then I would explain the effect and then I'd probably say the name again and so at some point either somebody reported that uh, or the YouTube algorithm was like hey this guy talks about this a lot and he mentions it specifically a lot and so obviously the the YouTube bot doesn't have uh, the knowledge of what context is. 
uh, like, contextual situations. So, you know, it, it is what it is. We don't normally like doing that, but when our reason is low and we can't really recover it, you know, you, you gotta... You, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, are we gonna discard the painkillers and the compass for 15 EXP? Absolutely not. Pretty much in no... in no circumstance. So I think we'll definitely... I mean, we could get bullets. Like, we literally could. But that's minus reason. We could heal. So we're gonna heal. Because our stamina is gonna be fine. We have Daddy's Girl. We didn't get Tireless. But we have Daddy's Girl and we have Painkiller. So that's plus four stamina. And, uh, by the way, just perish? Be gone? I I'm, I'm not even playing. I, I <laughs> She don't miss? Which, uh, yeah, thank, thank, thank the gods for that. But, uh, can't level up. Born to walk, forced to drive. Cars are for nerds. Anyways, we have Akamanto and we have School Scissors. I think we can do School Scissors, no problem. Because, again, we have... We have the painkillers. And so I, I think... Generally speaking, that should be all right. But yeah, no, I, I think the run's going pretty good. I mean, it's a Moriko run, so like, what do you really expect? We maybe should have taken the reason there, but my reasoning is we have a way of recovering stamina. We don't have a way of recovering reason except every 100 EXP. So you want to fail this because we don't have any spells, so we'll try to sneak, because that's the dexterity one. Because I would... Wait, I never got badly bleeding taken care of. That's, that's a little bit of a mistake, actually. Uh, and by a mistake, I mean potentially game-throwing. But you know what we'll do? We'll just take a couple of stamina here and hope that we don't die and perish. But it hasn't procced. Like, injuries in World of Horror are so weird because it's like there's a value, right? It's like there's some integer at the, like, when you first start playing the game, that's like, you will either, injuries will be really nasty and proc, like, every single time they possibly can, or injuries won't really do anything. And so you have to kind of, maybe we should have taken reason and then sold the lucky earrings. Yeah, that, that's probably better. It's all bows, always has been. So, I mean, that would be lucky, because I could actually remember that without writing it down. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. Clap. Okay, so four bows, one clap. That's completely fine. We got 20 EXP, you love to see it. Uh, so anyways, I mean, the run is doing pretty well. I mean, it is what it is. It's a Moriko run where you don't die at the start because you, you encounter the Drowner Sponge. The Drowner Sponge is a bummer, dude. The Drowner Sponge is an enemy that I really, right, like, every so often, like, I kind of have a new appreciation for some of the enemies in the game. And at first it was Hole Ridden Thing, and now it's Drowner Sponge, right? Like, Drowner Sponge is not very nice. I, I can tell you that right now. My speed run, please. I beg you. I've already done a run in the video. You have to let me do another one. You have to let me get this one over with, brother. That's an interesting event. 3% doom for 10 EXP. I don't really know how that theory crafts, but it should be a lot better. Because when an area location is doomed, like the threat level, that's plus 1 to plus 2% doom per investigation. So you're theoretically looking at like 5% doom for 10 EXP, which I don't think is worth it, but it doesn't really hurt you stat-wise, so I don't know. I, I actually do not know. Now, do we take reason or stamina? I think we take stamina, because we can, like even if we have fetid fumes, which we don't, we can rest before Akamanto, and that should get us to a, a reason threshold that we're happy with. Um, I need to go get that taken care of, like, right now, by the way. And I should have taken the Doom for sure. That's, that's throwing. That, that is throwing right there. 
Uh, discharge summary is really nice, though. Well, we were gonna rest a couple of times at home anyways, so I don't think it's like a super big deal. But if we had more Doom, confront the man's perception. Which we failed, we rolled a natural 10. I mean, we were gonna rest anyways, but if we were on Goizo, or we had more Doom, then we wouldn't really be able to mess around with this, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, we have five Charisma, so there's no chance. Um, yeah, we'll just check the plaques, I think. And we somehow managed the luck check, which is really funny. Uh, some of you might have been thinking to yourself, you could change the earrings, put them on, because you're gonna do the luck check. It doesn't work that way. Or at least it's never worked that way for me before. Uh, so anyways, we started bracing for impact, and then I started punching, which, absolutely beautiful. You know, eight perception, six strength, deft handling. The, um... And I mean, technically, you don't get to see the multiplier on uh, offensive actions, because it's not universally on offensive actions, it's just on uh, your attacks. So, we can't kill, uh, so what we'll just do is brace for impact. And actually, you know what we can do? We, we can indeed kill Akamanto. We can just get the gat. And then we'll immediately cover from ringing ears. We'll uh, cover? We'll re immediately recover from fetid fumes. Um, so that we can, you know, not, so that we can, when Takashi sees us, he just sees the caption, I am going to beat you to death, uh, which is a little bit violent, I'll admit, but, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. So we're going to take minus, minus three reason, right? Because it's the, uh, the flashlight check. Freaky feature found footage. Probably should have leveled up first, but I don't think it matters. Um, I, if I click quick thinking, I might check an option, which doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, so we might as well just take Outdoorsman and then Perception. We almost clicked Infested Girl, though, uh, but it was, it was Cultist Hunter B. Because we might as well get it right. It doesn't matter at this point. 10% Doom's not gonna do anything to us one way or another. Uh, because especially, like, literally, because we have, uh, the Crestfallen Mask. I mean, we don't have it anymore, but we did at one point have it. We are one off. That's painful, man. Can we throw the painkillers? No, we can't. Might as well take them. Alright, that's it. That's the run. Uh, pretty good. Not really a lot of complaints, to be honest with you. Uh, I think that... We got kind of lucky at some points, and we got we, we played well at others. But to be honest with you, I'm still recovering from the Amogus Charity stream, so... Uh, which, I mean, I wasn't even, like, uh, a planned participant. Like, I just showed up because I got the ad everyone. But it was still hectic and crazy. So I would recommend uh, going in with that, um... With that mindset. Like, I'm a, like... You know, I, I can be... I, I like to think that my default state is mellow. Or at least, like, vibin'. Like, if you ask me how I was doing, like, 90% of the time, I'd say vibin'. And that's probably true. Uh, even if I'm doing something important, like, real life-wise, I'm most likely vibin' while I do it. Um, but those games, you know, you get in those games, everybody's yelling and shouting. It's like, you get, you get energized, dude. There was even an interesting brief discussion about how uh, social sort of placebo effect of how if you think that you're supposed to be drunk, then your brain can actually inhibit you, which is really interesting. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name's been Webweaver. I hope you're all having a good one. Stay safe out there. Bye.